What's up? Hey. I love y'all. That's how I start off always, right? <clears throat> because I love you. I love you. Because I love you. Guys, you might be feeling tired today. Because that's the energy. It's the new moon in Pisces. Welcome to your new spiritual faith. How do you like it? So I woke up not tired, but that's also because I've been using several tools. So shout out to everyone who has been providing us with tools because as I ask for a tool to um, embrace our spiritual growth, they're coming in. So I have a new deck for us to help us today. I already pulled out the spreads because we know we normally already halfway into the program today. So I want to say grand rising to everyone. Hey, Luisa, how are you? I hope that later on you can listen to the meditation is there at your disposal so that you can um, let go of some stuff. <laughs> and so today we're going to be talking about the transition between the Pisces energy and the Aries energy that's coming up next week. Next week, in the beginning of, of, it's like Monday through Wednesday, it's going to still feel a little bit foggy because we're getting used to this new moon energy. And we are elevating spiritually. So even though you may not probably see a lot of physical changes, internally you're um, choosing to react differently to specific situations and people. Grand rising, the ad is. And you're also responding differently to yourself on what you have faith in what you no longer are going to accept from other people and so next week st uh starting about wednesday thursday and friday the energy starts shifting into aries which um by the weekend you'll feel it because you'll be ready to initiate things and it's also the spring equinox where we i don't know why i'm like I don't know what the, I don't know. Maybe I should drink some water. And so, anyway, uh, moving into Aries, the energy is fiery. We initiate, we're impulsive. And then just imagine what we spoke about last week with Mars and Gemini. Mars rules Aries, so we are going to be heavily communicating with people on how we feel and how we want to move forward. We're going to, if you're part of a project or a group, many things are going to be moving forward. There's going to be new ideas. Be open to listening to what others have to contribute into the group because that's also going to help out. So what we're going to talk about today is what is the energy bringing in for you from the 15th to the 21st to see one, how you're spiritually growing and what area in your life spirit is asking you to look into whether if it's an area of high vibrating or low vibrating so you guys know that the messages come out as they do so you guys may be having to um clear up some area of your life or you might be needing to um sit back and relax right sometimes we do too much all right so shout out to the person who got me this i love you you on here I ain't going to be shouting people out like that in the sense of like saying your names and stuff. But I love y'all because you know who you are. And so we're using the Star C card, which is connected. Um, it was made to connect mainly with the galaxy so that you can understand a little bit more like why the hell you're here. And, you know, sometimes what is your mission? So the mes uh, messages are different. And then we're going to be using our True Heart card, which is our tarot card, so that we can be able to um, to see what our day-to-day -day life is saying. So another thing is I have a monthly subscription for Buy Me A Coffee where we do new moon meditations as well as full moon Reiki. You guys who are part of the program receive a new moon worksheet as well as a tarot video for the new moon specifically, monthly calendars. We got yoga this month. so. Excuse me. 
and it's all for eleven dollars a month before the price go up get grandfathered in and so it's a supportive group of a bunch of us who just sit there and really share our personal experience when it comes to spirituality it's really hard to connect with people when they um they're not at the same frequency as you. So by you having this support group, you don't feel weird about speaking about your dreams or you don't feel weird when something just happened and it's positive, but you can't share it with somebody else because it seems as though they're not going to understand or they might dim your light like, oh, that's not true. That's not synchronicity. Um, there's no coincidence. You're lucky. Like all those things. So the, in that group, we talk about that. All right. So without further ado, let's get right into it. This is, again, a reading moving from the transitioning from the energies of Pisces into Aries next week. All right. So for us as a collective, we got this card. We got these two cards at the bottom of the deck. So the first card that we got is um, you got the love. Codependency and boundaries. So what this express this is expressing to me is that we no longer need to, and you can see these people are in transition as well. You see that? So being in transition and moving away from codependency, um, feeling like other people' opinions uh, can define our final decisions. We can actually take in what people are saying and jot it down, but it doesn't have to be your final decision. So stop depending on other people to make your decisions and that's the best way that i can keep saying it because i, I there are many times where yes even our kids can uh, we can be codependent dependent on our kids on what decisions they make like what food they want to eat before we decide what we want to eat let's switch it around eat what you want to eat and allow your kids to eat whatever they want to eat i know that sounds like a lot because it's just like oh well i'm double cooking who is that somebody's saying like well i'm not gonna double cook all right, fine, whatever. Pick another um, scenario. <laughs> but main importantly, um, especially if you're codependent on a job that is not um, suited for you at this time and you feel like that money is the only way that you're going to be receiving money, Spirit wants you to move away from that at this current time because you have what it takes to get another job. You have what it takes to rebuild yourself and not depend on that extra access money for some of you guys and extra money for others of you and with the three of swords for everyone is just about move on um, getting clarity and moving away from any pain or hurt this week on how other people treated us and also if there has been some of you guys who probably have been in a situation where there has been cheating so your eyes are being open to if not cheating there was just a lot of deceivement and so your eyes is being open you see that the eye is clear there's nothing um covering it so you're clear about which route you want to take and you are no longer going to take in that pain so that goes together with this codependency so some of us may be going through some type of heartbreak um next week um because we finally realize where we are spiritually and where we want to go and this person may not be ready to go um for others of you boundaries building boundaries saying no 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 if it don't serve me i say no 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 <laughs> all right so practice that practice that in the mirror i i practice that because i remember I, I had a hard time saying no especially when it came to my mother when she was alive it was really hard to you know it's hard to say no to your parents even if you know you don't want to do it so I used to practice it in the mirror i used to be like no 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 <laughs> all right so just be kind to yourself is the main important thing which is what <clears throat> we just finished doing a let go meditation where we're being kind to ourselves first forgiving ourselves first before we do that for other people because if we don't forgive ourselves first for going through that situation we're going to continuously go into that cycle of um talking bad to ourselves and all this negative nancy all right, so we're going to get right into it. I always say that, right? That's that face on um, that YouTube. Let's get right into it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start off with Aries. Sagittarius wanted to go first, but it said Aries. All right, Aries, jump in. A dormant energy adventure. <laughs> say yes to change. 
All right, Aries, so some of you guys, don't say no to change. Say no to boundaries and codependency. But you see this right here? Look at this. It looks like an eye. Right now, it's time for you to ex let go. Let go of what's no longer serving you. Dive into your spirituality. If you're scared, you see this? The universe got your back. If you're scared, look for a support system that will help you with this transition, Aries, all right? But for the most part, Spirit is asking you for next week to just dive right into whatever you have your mind set to, whether if it's letting go of people, whether if it's moving, whether if it's starting a new job, just dive right in and allow this energy to take you where you need to go. And with the Five of Swords, look at this. Look, it looks like two eyes, right? Y'all see that? With the Five of Swords, what I'm getting is, uh, should you decide not to allow this change to happen for you, it's going to happen in, in a way where it's going to rock your world and not in a good way. So this, there's a lot of changes for some of you Aries that are coming in um, because you decided that you didn't want to um, let go of that person, place, or thing. So now Spirit is saying dive right in go with the flow or you will see clarity in a in a painful way right i'm also getting uh deceivement right for some of you aries there's a lot of deceivements happening as well so check out next week make sure that you don't even though they're saying say yes to change you want to make sure that you're not saying yes to physical people that are going to um, not allow you to grow for some of you guys. There's some people in your life that's not going to be allowing you to grow because they don't want you to do this change because they benefit of, of the way you are. So allow yourself to create that change and jump right in. All right? But with the Five of Swords, again, mentally, you want to get out your own way, Aries. Okay? Let me see I ain't even looking at the comments. Oh, hey, Danielle. Hey, Letty. Cinnamon. Ah. Oh. Hey, Kenny. Oh, I love all of y'all. Y'all come back. It's going to take some time, but come back for your sign. Sagittarius, y'all not here yet. All right. Taurus. Trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. So, Taurus, you rushing for something. For next week, they want you to slow down, right? And you are a great sign to slow down because you are a um, a grounding sign. And by you being a grounding sign, you see how this person... All right, y'all, here we go. My ladies with her fingers. Uh-oh, here we go, wait. All right, one... I'm not doing this. One, two, and three, all the way back here. So they want you to take baby steps in what you're doing next week. If you have a project coming along, they want you to go slowly. If you are signing contracts, they want you to go slowly. If you are um, leaving one job to the next, make sure that you are um, covering your I's and dotting, dotting your T's and crossing. No, we're not going to do this. You're dotting your I's and crossing your T's. All right. So that way, if you're moving away from a specific job and getting another one, they don't come back to you and ask you where things are at. That's for some of you guys out there. For others of you, if you're scared to start this journey, it's time for you to really trust in yourself and know that what's transpiring for you is going to take some time. So if you just started healing, it, it's going to take some time before you see a, a, a difference in the physical world. Just know that internally, it's happening, but externally there might be some, there might be a standstill and not nothing moving for you next week. And that is, see, you're spiritually growing right now. With the Three of Wands, it talks about you connecting with your mind, body, and soul at this current time. So Spirit is asking you to chill the fuck out, right, and take your baby steps. Look, isn't it three people here and then the number three here? And with these birds, it's about messages. So putting yourself in your little bubble, meditating. And once again, meditating doesn't necessarily have to be you sitting like this. You guys already know how I do, but it's just sitting still for five minutes um, and just allowing your mind to calm down. 
Now, the chatter will never stop. I don't know. People be like, oh, the chatter stops. Nah, it really doesn't. I'm not going to lie. But what happens is you're able to control the chatter and then start bringing in what you want to visualize. So right now, you're getting that time, all right? So next week, if you was thinking about taking action, because things are changing for you as you allow yourself to heal. And with the water, remember, transitioning from Pisces. Oh, this is dope right here, y'all. Transitioning from Pisces to Aries. So this is you moving in from that spiritual, emotional aspect of yourself to then be able to take action so that you don't have to be angry when you take action the following week. All right? Ooh, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, you moving. There's a, there's a void. It says it, the void. Stop. Embrace winter. Great cosmic womb. Gemini, right now, you're in a space of darkness. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you're in a space of darkness. Darkness can mean anything, right? Darkness can mean when you turn off the light and you go on fucking sleep. But right now, what this void is letting me know is that the universe is asking you to be reborn. So some of you guys, is obviously Gemini, your birthday is 9 to May and June. But right now, with right now with Mars and Gemini, mentally, you are being rebirthed, right? And then your North Node is still ruling for the last um, year and a half. North Node is the route that everyone is going to collectively. South Node is what we're letting go of. Sagittarius, that religious um, um, freedom. Uh, we're letting go of all of that, not feeling like we're free, not feeling like we can't um, shift our philosophies. That's Sagittarius, South Node. North Node is Gemini, where we're... I don't know who's going to make, because I drank coffee, y'all. I don't know. Um, Gemini, North Node is guiding us um, mentally. And it's also, because I'm thinking about Mercury's, I'm thinking about the internet. I keep getting the internet. So high speed internet, high speed conversation. So all of that is happening for you right now. And you're also moving away from, this to me is like a dis-ease, a discomfort in your life. So some of you guys, I will say, go and check yourself out at the doctors if things are happening for you. Because you're moving away from that, but you do need to move away from the illusion that you're not going to be able to uh, withstand some of this pain. So some of you guys are going through pain. Some of you guys are releasing. Um, if you are, I'm hearing the flu. So if you got, you guys have the flu, this is the time for you to start taking your vitamins. But right now, next week for you as well, Spirit is telling you to just chill and figure out what's true and what's not true in your life as far as any illusions that people throwing at you or any arguments that you've had that you have next week is to bring clarity and in your path and how to move forward so pay attention to that um gemini but for the most part it's really just sitting back and um just relaxing also this looks like a sonogram so some of you guys i do get that might be um in a space of being pregnant or getting pregnant because it says the great cosmic womb. All right? Cancer. Cancer, you got water your garden and you are water. Nourish, nourishment, body care, tenderness, rest. You too. You got some rest. Look at this beautiful thing right here. What I'm getting is that a lot of you guys have not been um, taking care of yourself. So next week, with this transition, it is best for you to um, take longer showers and take a nap. Take a fucking nap, Cancer. Take a nap. Because you have been through a whole lot in these past three, two and a half months, because we're still in the third month. Two and a half. Can y'all believe that? A lot has transpired, and it's only March. Woo! The Ten of Wands. You see this right here? You're moving away from the shit. Right? Because the flies are always around shit. <laughs> so you're moving away from shit. You're moving away from... And this is by yourself. You're not... Um, it looks like you're taking flight by yourself. 
and not bringing anybody with you in this next transition. That's not everybody. That's for some of you guys. But the main important thing is not to keep yourself stuck. Here we go. Not to keep yourself stuck and allow yourself to embrace in your own energy. This is this is if you sit in other people's energy and not take care of yourself. This is what it feels like if you take care of yourself. So you'll be battling with these two next week, and there'll be a reminder. Do you want to feel this way where you feeling like shit alone, or do you want to be in this space where you're in your own energy and you're taking care of yourself and nature is also supporting you? So some of you also see up there for cancer is connected to the moon. And that also gives me a sense that um, this full moon that's coming up is also asking you to prepare yourself because there's going to be uh, a huge release for you with this Libra full moon, which is about balance. All right? So take care of yourself. And others of you, I'm getting that you're longing to be home. What does that mean? What does home mean to you? Are you not happy in the space that you're in? Or do you want to move? Do you don't feel like you're at home inside? So these are the things that um, Spirit wants to act, want you to ask. What does home mean to you? Leo, okay. <laughs> you're going to like this. You're not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face the truth, your true north. So Leo... So what's been happening is that you've been feeling stuck and emotionally you've been feeling stuck and also creativity. Y'all not gonna mess with me. Your creative side doesn't, didn't seem like it was rising up, but this is because you were catering to other people's needs, other people's thoughts and ideas, and you weren't catering it to yourself. So right now, look at this person right here, free and not giving a fuck. So allow yourself to be weird. Allow yourself to tap into that project that nobody is tapping into. Those ideas that you're getting that doesn't seem or sound like it's out there in the world. Go ahead and tap into that because that's what's going to make you who you are. Go ahead and connect with people that in the past may have felt weird or something like that. Um, where you did like what they did. You liked their work, but you was like, oh, I would never do that because people are going to think that I'm weird. Or people are going to uh, make fun of me. And, you know, once again... This is not giving a fuck what people are saying and being your true self. So if that means that you have to let go of, <laughs> yes, if that means that you have to let go of people in order for you to move forward, so like this person, not even the dress is holding her down, right? So you want to make sure that you don't leave yourself behind. You're not weird. And you see this octopus right there? This octopus to me talks about um, feeling stuck again So, and this wall. But as you feel stuck and this wall is there, you still carrying on. You see the cup is just like, I'm not going to give up. And again, with you, with the moon up here, I'm also getting... Nope, nope, here we go. Bang! With the moon, I'm also getting that for you, this full moon that's coming up this month is also going to assist you in releasing what other people are caring about. All right, so and with the isn't something is new for some of you guys. You guys are in your emotions, and that's something new for some of you Leos, which then causes you to say, "Oh, I do deserve this. I'm gonna go with this feeling." So right now, a lot of you guys next week will be walking in faith and using your feelings to determine what your next steps are, even if you can't see it. I like that, Leo, because y'all been going through some shit. All right, we're going into Virgo. All right, Virgo, you are not alone. Isolation, physical connection and community. Virgo, get out the house. Get out. Go. Bundle up and get out because you're not feeling connected. Right now, you're feeling, through this transition that you're going through, you're not feeling that, you're not feeling anyone is around you or anyone is supporting you. That's for some of you. For others of you, you've been connecting with spirit. And as you connect with spirit, you're um, getting lost in the spiritual world and not coming back down 
into the material world and putting things into action. So with this transition from Pisces to Aries, this is going to be changing for you. Um, even though, look, what did I say? The spiritual world to the physical world. So Taurus, um, you got the the Prince of Disc, right? And this talks about material worth initiation on what you want to come out with next and just like um leo this wall is is preventing you or you're preventing yourself from moving forward in this material world and it's because you learned a lot in this transition on how to connect with spirit how to connect with yourself and as you learn how to do this it it, it kind of like your, your your reality has been altered for some of you and it's just like I don't believe in that anymore. So how do I take this and apply it to this when that no longer serves me? So this is the part where you, Virgo, is learning what to let go of and what to incorporate in your life. So next week, what you're going to be going through is taking in all that information and learning how to plant and ground it with new tools so that you can be able to move forward and make that money and believe in your worth and believe in yourself you know and it's not really about the well, some of you guys is about the money but for others of you is really like feeling worthy enough to i'm gonna say to be here on earth right so don't leave us virgo we are here for you and i know it's a rough road but guess what a lot of us had to go through this transition to really get to know ourselves and so here is what's happening for you you getting to know your light and okay no your dark and light side so that you can be able to learn how to balance out yourself. And again, balancing that out with the full moon coming on the 28th will be great for you as well. But I like it though. I like it. I like your transition. All right. So we going into Libra. Libra. Libra, you got Horus energy. If you don't know who Horus is, go look him up. We don't got time for Horus. Horus, I'm sorry. That's like, like he 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 comes after me. Uh, I one time woke up with the Horus eye. Let me know if y'all want me to text you that because I didn't look too well in the morning. But um, Horus energy is really powerful. Um, it talks about uh, mainly what we know him as is like you know the eye, right? The eye of Horus. So that tells you a lot. Where now Libra, you're being asked to open up to new ways of connecting with yourself. And the reason why I say that is because it says Horus energy, protection, loyalty, safety, and trust. Look at this. Look how beautiful is that. And this person is just centered, allowing the balance to come in and shift them. So right now what I'm getting for you Libras next year, next year. I don't know what's happening for y'all next year, but y'all might from this year to next to next. Y'all yeah, gonna be on something. But Star Brothers is also connecting to your tribe. Libra, who who else, right? A lot of times we see a lot of women healing, women healing, women healing, but we need men to heal as well. And I get it. A lot of people's like, oh, men rule the world for so many years. Cool, but we can't leave y'all behind. So if you guys are a Libra and you're in a space of healing and you're a man, they're asking you to bring in your fellow brothers so that they can also heal and that goes for you women as well you're healing heal your um your husband your kids we all healing together we cannot leave one behind we just can't so libra trust yourself trust that this change is going to bring you closer to where you need to be and the reason why i say that is the star card as you allow this change to come in and you trust yourself some of y'all might be running around naked. Not just kidding. Some of y'all might be um, really vulnerable and open to new projects, to new emotions, to new love. So there's a new beginning coming for you guys next week. And again, a lot of it is a, we're in a transition. So you may not physically see it, but you will feel it from the inside. And you will, you will allow yourself to balance out that energy of grounding yourself here and then emotionally, um, being emotionally intelligent. So you Libras are 
gathering up emotional intelligence to not also teach yourself, but for some of you, it's going to be teaching others how to be emotionally intelligent. Holla at me. All right. Guys, don't forget, we did a reading last week, which lasts about six to seven weeks. Grab your notebooks, write some information down because um, that energy is pretty heavy as well. All right, so we have Scorpio. Scorpio, yes. Scorpios. Scorpios, y'all been going through some big bro. So today, you have the golden, ch golden children. Inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. Next week, between the transition of Aries to Pisces, you're a lot of you guys who have been open for a change and been calling in for a change and healing your childhood traumas. They are dissipating as your energy goes in. You come out differently. So some of you guys are literally walking through portals and that, I'm not talking about Oh, Sag is right after. I'm like, what? Did I miss Sagittarius? Y'all, yeah, because y'all know I'll be missing. So I'm not talking about literally. Well, some, for some of you guys who visualize very well, you can literally be walking through a portal. So, But for other of you guys who don't believe in portals, which is totally fine, it's just literally you um, walking through a transition of your life and feeling the difference energetically on your day-to-day -day life on how you do things. So Scorpios, next week you will be picking up new daily activities that's going to allow you to stay in this energy right because as you do this you start understanding what your gifts are and you start applying your gifts as you can see these people are just walking they're grounding themselves as they walk through letting go of what no longer serves them walking right back out and you can visualize yourself because i'm actually doing that right now visualize yourself walking through this door and then walking back out feeling refreshed new and re being able to release. The reason why I say that is because, baby, with the queen of this, uh, y'all work. It's popping. So next week, should you allow yourself to literally let go of that energy that's holding you back, nothing is going to be stopping you. This person is not even on a throne. She is walking. Do you see that rabbit fertility? Um... Some of you guys may be in that space of um, being pregnant, giving birth, right? Others of you, look at that, that antenna, or is it antlers, right? Antlers is antenna. And then for others of you, I'm getting that you're, you're going to be really confident next week with your throat chakra. So allow that to develop. Allow that to come out. Don't stop yourself next week from speaking your truth. All right? And then, oh, I found a snake. <laughs> Something was, it was guiding me. Y'all see that snake right there? Y'all got to be careful, too, with how, okay, what we doing? What we doing? What we doing? Uh, there we go. Look, even spirit wants to give us some light. So that snake that you see there is is giving you awareness of don't forget to watch your steps. Don't forget um, to bring in compassion and knowledge when you're speaking to people, especially knowledge, right? Because some people are going to come at you next week where they're going to act like you don't know what you're talking. You got, you're worthy enough to know what you're talking. All right. Sag. Sag, you got baby steps. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. In the world card. In reverse. So the world card in reverse is talking about your internal world is changing at this current time. You're understanding who you are. Look at this. You're understanding Sagittarius. You like feeling really confident. Um, you can take over the world. It's just like right now you can even be the mother of everyone around you. Like you you on your high horse, Sag, and that feels amazing. With the eagle in her hair, what I'm also getting that you're building knowledge and you're also not beating yourself up anymore. So you have a lot of animals happening here. You have your, um, what is that? You have your deer? That's a deer. That's a deer. Your lion? Is that a deer? 
Right. You got an ego, you got a lion, you got a deer, and you also have a person. So there's, um, wow. All right, some of y'all are having some good old SEX. Y'all see that? Your sacral is popping. So, like, Sagittarius, you're in a great space right now. And for next week, what's happening for you is allowing yourself to be in this energy. This energy is new to you, and it hasn't been around for a very long time, which is why it makes you feel like you can take over the world. And so don't fuck shit up, right? Because this is what it's saying. Well, you can fuck it up if you want. Don't listen to me. That was not nice. Um, meaning, like, take your time with whatever this new energy is, whether if it's work, whether if it's a new relationship, whether if it's, you know, there's a lot of new things that are happening for you. And I believe, and I'm hearing that it started for some of you guys two weeks ago, and that's for some of you guys literally last week. A lot of things have been changing for you, but don't get don't get caught up, right? Y'all see the person going up the stairs. Allow yourself to continue to take those steps. You don't know what's coming next, so that new job that you have, uh, take baby steps. Do not make decisions based on how other people are reacting. To the boss you got a different relationship to the boss all right but follow your intuition that means that if your stomach is feeling uncomfortable and it's don't feel safe get away if that person is making you feel un uncomfortable angry fix it because that's where the problem is all right but for you guys right now next week you pop and just continue to um embracing that energy all right i got some confirmations here Yes, and it's a guy, Kenny. All right, so next week, you guys, that transition is going to be great. All right, Capricorn. Capricorn. <laughs> All paths lead home. Inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. Oh, this is so beautiful. Look at this. So Capricorn, once again, put yourself in your little bubble for next week. Allow yourself to be around a lot of water because I feel like this person is, I personally feel is under the sea, under the sea. I don't know what that means. But that's what I feel like this person is like. You guys know how you can sleep inside. I don't know, maybe some of you guys, some Capricorns, y'all going there. Y'all yeah, um, going to be traveling and visiting those spaces where you can sleep inside the ocean or you have water around you and the fishes are around you that's what i'm seeing for some of you guys you might be going by yourself others of you might be also going to mexico or somewhere where the rooms are at and that's next week or the following couple of weeks somewhere where it's sacred and as you go in this place where it's sacred you're going to be able to um feel stronger and safe and connected to your spiritual crowd right and that's the reason why i say that is because you've been in a dark space for quite some time some of you guys have been in that transition of letting go will no longer serve you rising up to the point where now you're ready to move forward but this is the last step that you need this week to be able to allow yourself to fully let go and be your true authentic self to some of you guys for others of you, you already are your authentic self. And right now, you just um, enjoying being by yourself because you know that there's some work and missions that's going to be coming up for you. But no matter what, all paths lead home. So there is no wrong path. Okay? All right. Where we at? Mm, 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 mm. Aquarius. Guess what they said to you? Star Keeper. Cosmic Ancestor. Seed the light by staying grounded. I'm going to need y'all. So next week, come down and tell us what y'all been doing up there. What y'all been meditating about. What's the messages, Aquarius? I know y'all been getting messages. All right. Y'all see this? Right in the middle, down here is a true awakening and opening for yourself and this is the space where you've been at in the past couple of months weeks and now some of you guys years it's time to get out of there and when spirit says time to ground every season is coming up 
And what that is doing for you is beginning to understand what you want to initiate. Just this year, what do you want to initiate this year? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do with the information that you have? Because Aquarius, you guys have a lot of information. Don't tell me you don't because you do, all right? You guys are one of the smartest on um, zodiac signs. And so, and you connect very well with the universe. So with that being said, cosmic ancestors, you, some of you guys already have been here before. And what they're asking you to do is to start preparing yourself to bring in that information. Staying grounding, meaning like, Start writing things down. Start journaling. Start allowing yourself to understand what your power is because you, you, you will understand what your power is. This is the emperor. This is the number four. This is about stability. This is about carrying on with all the knowledge, like I said, that you have so that you can be able to share with us what the fuck we need to do here on earth. So um, I'm not putting no pressure on you, but you do have a lot of information that... Honestly, if you do not at least write it down and let it go and write a book about it, you don't have to talk to us. We know you don't like people, but we need a book. We need something that's going to allow us humans to move forward in our lives. And that could be as simple as you volunteering. Because I know when I say humans, it sounds like you got to take care of the whole world. I mean, although he is walking around, we're not asking you to next week to go ahead and start initiating projects, but... What project do you want to start off with? Because right now you have the knowledge and the stability. Um, when I mean stability, I mean intuitive stability. A lot of us don't have that intuitive stability of what steps are next. This person is moving forward. So it's like, oh, you walking out of here, and it's like, boom, knowledgeable. Embrace your power, embrace your magic. And that doesn't mean, again, that you have to leave work to to now get into a, 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 a space of healing. No, but what this does mean is that, one, acknowledgement that you're powerful. Two, the way you're thinking at this current time needs to be put on paper so that you can also understand the knowledge that you're receiving. And that's happening next week for you. Last but not least, we have Pisces. Y'all, y'all thought I was a single in my back of my days. I want too much. Pisces. The seven star sisters. Birthing, creation, tapestry of life, expression. Pisces. Because you are the last zodiac sign, which is the 12th house, is the ending and the beginning of all things. We are entering in that transition. And so you, some of you guys have found out that you have past lives. Some of you guys may have tapped into seven past lives. Others of you understand now what you let go of and what you need to do and you're surrendering. But right now, a lot of you guys are at your, pretty much at your ending. The ending and you're making that concrete choice of where you want to go. And no, it's not to Mars. I don't even know if that's Mars. I'm not going to lie. But no, it's not to Mars. It's going back home to yourself to understand what your mission is here. Some of you guys are lost to what your mission is on Earth. And so Spirit is letting you know that there's no need to worry because you have what it takes no matter what, if you, you, some of you guys don't feel worthy enough to, to be, um, guiding other people and that's fine. But here you have the knowledge and the gifts to lead other people for others of you, um, letting go right now, spirit is asking you to let go of the people, the places. I'm always going to say that it's always people, play, cause there's so many of y'all people, places, a thing that no longer serve you. Let it go. Because even though you may feel like you're not going to be yourself with, these cups here this is like how you feel i'm worthy but if i let go of this thing i'm not gonna be worthy i'm gonna lose people and it's time to figure out are you gonna lose people or are you gonna gain people as you understand your knowledge so you have to trust yourself that what you bring it into the office what you bring it into your family and the transition that is happening is for the highest good of everyone pisces all right 
But tap into tap into yourself. All right, y'all. That was the messages. I got a long, long day. I got another live to go through. I got some. Don't forget, y'all, that we have the podcast happening. We are recording our next four episodes, which will be eight episodes in total, and they'll be dropping real soon, so stay tuned for that. Does anybody have any comments, any questions? Um, I'll pull out a card if you have a specific question, but for the most part, this video will be up for you guys to come back next week. Remember that it's going to be a wishy-washy week from our spiritual awareness to initiating things and starting to put things into action. All right. Let me see the comments. I love y'all. Don't forget to share and to like. Oh, I see y'all liking. Ooh, ooh. Ah. I appreciate you all for joining. I am going to be coming on during the week to provide us with another reading. I don't know when, because every time I say something, Spirit always guides me a different way, so I'm just going to do it. But sometime next week, I'm either going to go live and drop something for you guys to see um, what the energies is like, because that, that transition is going to be, you're going to feel it. All right? But I love y'all, and so I'm guessing I'm ending the video, because nobody want to talk to me. All right? <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. Take care. I love y'all, and yeah. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget to take your calendars. It's a free calendar, a monthly calendar. You do one task a day, and you keep it moving. Love thyself.